Today I'm going to show you how to add audio to your PDFs using two methods, the linked method and the embedded method. Now we're going to be using the free Foxit Reader, which you can download and install, and I will show you how to do that at the very end of the video. The first method is the linked method, and what happens here is I've put a link in the PDF which connects to the audio files, and they both have to remain in the same folder at all times. I'll just show you a little example of that. So I simply click on the link, and it knows where the audio is because I've told it where it is. Track one. Listen. And that's how it works. And you can move it forward, backwards. That's the audio link method. Now in the embedded method, we're going to embed the audios from the file into the PDF. And then later we can actually discard them and delete them. However, this does mean that your file will grow to about 30 megabytes or more but you can discard the audio files after that. And the reason the embedded method is good is because you can add this PDF to your iPad using the Foxit Reader, and you will be able to tap on it and the audio will be available to you and you can move it forward and pause it, etc. As far as I know, no other PDF reader offers these tools. In part four, I'm going to show you how to, in the linked method, how to keep the audio on top at all times so that you can scroll through and not have to keep searching for the audio bar. And I'll show you what I mean when we do the LinkedIn method. And finally, I'll show you how to download and install the Foxit Reader. So now let's look at the first method. This is where I link the audio to the PDF. So if I was to click here and open, Track one. you can see that the player jumps up. Just want to remind you that I'm using VLC player, which allows it to be very thin and narrow and I can move it around the screen. If you were to use as your default like media player or something, you get this kind of square and it's often in the way and it's not really very good. So I prefer, and it's a good idea if you can make it your default, use the VLC player to play your MP3s. Okay, with that out of the way, let's move to the next page and make a new link. So we click on this link here we make a box and already it's decided or rather it's remembered that I chose red. You can choose any color you like, any thickness and dashed or solid. Go to the file. Remember you can do many things with this link. You can go to another page view, but we want to always open a file. So we go here and we click next. We want track four. Okay. And now when we click on it, it will play our track. Track four, listening part two. Now notice when I click away that the track disappears. If I want the track to stay on top, I can use my auto hotkey script. Now I've already activated this. You just double click on it and then an icon will appear here, a H. What that means is anything I am on at the moment, anything which I am active, I simply press control space and that will stay on top. So as you can see, I can move the page up and down, but that stays in place. So that's a really good thing to know about auto hotkey. So I'm going to click off that. And now let's look at the second method, the embedded method. Now with the embedded method, if I click on this one I've made before, Track two. you can see a little player arrives on the top and I can move my cursor along 
and play here. And it has covered up the words, but once you press stop, you can see the words again. So it's very useful if you don't want to send audio files, if you want to embed them right into the PDF, this is great. However, one word of warning, when you decide to add this method, embedded method, you might come across this. I've done an example here. This is what happened to me the first time. Track two, listening part one. Worksheet now I'm two. clicking on it and I can't stop question it playing. The, correct answer. Look at question the only way I could stop it playing is by clicking on this audio button here. I couldn't stop it playing any other way. Uh, so what happens is this audio player is actually hidden and you only have to make sure it's active once. So what we're going to do for this player, right click. Now you'll notice that when you make one of these files, you won't be able to do this. You have to make the file then right click. So we're going to right click properties. Okay, let's make it blue, thin. Let's go to settings. Then you have to go to edit. And then here there's three buttons. Go to playback settings and make sure you click show player controls. And then at the bottom, click use current playback settings as default. So that means the next time we add one, the player will automatically be there. This happened to me the first time I did it. I was wondering what was going on. But this is a good way to solve it. So now if I click on it, Track two. so the player has arrived. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this because I don't need this file. And what we're going to do is add a new file to the next listening. So we're going to embed track five. So we click on the audio and video icon, not the link, the audio and video. And because it's going to be a player, I'm going to make it quite large like this. Up pops this button and I browse for the file. It says show player here, but even though it says it there, you still have to go in the back end to make sure it's there. Now this says track five. This is not track five. Let's look in here. Track five. Click OK. Now, if you want to change the border or anything, remember you can click it again and look, now I have properties. And now I can go to appearance and say, OK, make it green with uh, dashed and close. And now when I click on it, And you can see it's embedded. And I'll just show you that as I open it, it automatically will use the player. It won't go back to that weird black, you know, zigzag thing that happened before. I'll, I'll do this again quickly here. Browse track eight, click OK. I'll leave it black for now and just click that. And there you can see, because I made the player default. So make sure you do that. So that's the two methods covered. Now, this method we've just done now is great if you want to use it on the iPad. Now, I just want to show you on my iPad. I'll open the PDF Foxit Reader. And here you can see I have uploaded the PDF. If you're not sure how you can do that, you can use iTunes or you can use one of these uh, cloud methods. You can use your Google Drive, Dropbox, etc. So let's go back to the documents. I'm opening up the document and here, once you tap on it. Track five, listening part. And you have this icon at the bottom, which you can move around. So you can actually zoom in. And then when you've got it in the place you like, press play. Worksheet two. 
So you can press play at any time. And if you tap also, remember you have tools here which you can use to write with. So you can decide if that's the answer or not. I'll just get rid of that. And it's also useful if you're learning a language. I was learning Spanish and I decided to embed the PDF. So I, I downloaded this and paid for it. So I embedded the audios that they gave me into the PDF. Unit one, talking about me. Conversation. So it's a great useful tool for listening to books or giving exercises to students for their homework on the iPad. So in our next step, in the last one as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to get this hotkey to use very quickly. So you simply go to this website, Auto Hotkey, and you download this script, download the current version. When you've downloaded it, you run the setup. Now there's this little file you need after you've installed it. So all you have to do is open up Notepad. If you're not sure where that is, type in this Notepad. Open up your Notepad file. And this is the text that's in there, but this is an AHK file. And what you do is you copy the text into the file and simply Go File, Save As. I'm going to save it where I have the pet exam. Now, if you just had it like this, Note Text File, it would save as a text file. Like this. And that's no good to anyone. So what you need to do is go File, Save As, and add the letters. A H K and then click all files. And now when I save, if I look here, you can see there's that same file, exactly the same look and everything. And then by clicking that, you can activate the ability to use the space key. Remember when I click here, you simply Listening, control space and then it's on the top and you can do whatever you like. It's a very useful tool to do that. Hope you enjoy that. Finally, I'm going to show you how to get the appropriate Foxit reader in case you're not sure how to do that. Simply type in Foxit into your browser, click on the download folder here and scroll down to the bottom when you get to the orange one, Foxit Reader. That's the one you want, but be careful. They try to trick you into downloading a professional version. So here's Windows, English, free download. Now at this moment, wait, don't click on anything. It will pop up for you to download. So be patient, wait a little minute or two, and there you can see it. This has popped up and I'll simply click save as, and it will save this is the free reader. Now, when you are installing it, these are the steps. You can just simply go next, 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 everything's fine, until you reach this part where it will ask you to install the 14 day free trial. Do not do that. Click on the next button down. Do not install 14 day trial. You'd never need it. You don't need it. There are much better PDFs like PDF exchange, which is only 60 pounds for life. So why would you take this one? No, the free version of this is the best and eventually you will install it. So let's recap. I've showed you the link method, the embedded method, how the embedded method works for iPad, how to make the audio stay on top while you're teaching online or teaching on a whiteboard, and finally how to download and install Foxit Reader. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give it thumbs up, give me a like, and uh, see you on the next video.